Hey, it's Janae. Welcome to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, hey girl, hey, make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe, like this video, and turn your notifications on so you know when I post. So y'all, today is Monday. I just got done filming um, a video. I really wanted to do this uh, <laughs> what I ordered versus what I got um, video on these sunglasses. I already packed them back up because they're getting shipped back. So if you want to see what it is, you'll just have to wait for that video. Um, it'll probably be out before this. So if it is, I'll make sure I'll link it up here in the cards or I'll put it in the description box if you want to see the uh very very ghetto experience i had ordering a pair of blank sunglasses i'm not gonna tell y'all what kind they were <laughs> but um yeah so what i'm about to do now is um i'm actually gonna unbox some stuff on my instagram story because i got like a few pr packages recently that i really need to open and uh take the products out of because otherwise these boxes are just sitting in my room um and you know, I need to make content with the stuff, but I also like to do really cute unboxings for my Instagram story too. If you follow me on Instagram at Janae Barbary, that's where you'll see all of my cute unboxings. And I'm just gonna do some behind the scenes right here so you guys can kind of see like how I do it. Cause it's super simple. I really use the, um, I'm seeing y'all on the tripod. I use all the filters from Instagram. I have like a lot of them. <laughs> I really just be scrolling through taking filters. Um, but I feel like I find such cute ones, so it's like, why not utilize them? But yeah, let's get into that before it gets too dark outside. Let me finish putting these sunglasses up. Oh, and then because I'm doing the BTS of the um, of the stuff I'm unboxing, it'll give you guys a chance to kind of look at it too in case you don't follow me on Instagram, even though you should. So let me see. The boxes are over here. I got about four packages. I'm not gonna unbox all four of these only because um, I think this one specifically is for some content I have to do soon, so I'm gonna leave her be. But um, <laughs> this Coco Kind stuff, this Good Molecule stuff, and then I have something from Artistry Skin Nutrition. I don't even know exactly what this is, but I guess we're gonna see. Um, we're going to start with the molecules. I'm wondering if I should just, because I was really, really, I always put my address in the camera. I was really looking forward to this particular package because I think this brand and this company is so cute. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll just do this one. I have a thing with like, when certain brands that are similar, whoa. <laughs> send me content, uh, not content, send me products. Like for instance, I think this is skincare and so is that. I won't post them on the same day because I just think that can be, like that can come off kind of weird. So let's just unbox this first real quick. Y'all know I already, I still don't have a box cutter. I have a box cutter. I just don't know where it is. I thought I was in the kitchen, but um, I have gone in the kitchen and I still can't find it, so. I don't know, but I'm gonna clip my hair back real quick. Do y'all use hair clips? I know that they are um, popular again, but I've been using them for a long time because my grandma uses them. So I kind of prefer them over hair ties. Okay, it's real cute in here. It says it's nice to meet you. So let's go ahead and get this content going. Or I might need to adjust my lights just a little bit. Um, I have a new lighting situation. Y'all can tell I got some accent lighting, some orange going on. It's real cute. I have stuff all over the place. Like I can never be like neat and clean when I'm creating content. Oh my gosh, they sent so much stuff. Eh. Okay. So, y'all ignore my outfit because I literally was filming from here up. So I have like the bodysuit that I had on earlier like folded down over some um, <laughs> a biker shorts because I'm being ridiculous. But I'm gonna adjust the camera so y'all can see too what I'm doing um, as I film on my phone for just the Instagram story unboxing. So let me do that now. Thank you. 
So sometimes what I like to do is before I actually record, I like to hold the screen above the um, whatever the products are. And then I like kind of do like a mock, like a little trial of what it would look like before I actually hit record. So I know I'm gonna take this out because it looks like a packing slip or something. And it has my address on it. So we're gonna throw that out. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I also take this time to see if anything has been kind of like open. As you can see, this box right here was like opened a little bit. Um, anything, sometimes like, you know, things get shifted around in transit. Um, kind of like turn the products around, make sure everything looks super cute. Even though this is supposed to be like a first impressions unboxing, it is still content. At the end of the day, you still want it to be like really cute so I don't think I'm taking the authenticity out of it by just like taking a peek in there first just to see like what I'm working with you know what I mean I don't I think that's fair to do so now that I have this um, uh -oh, set up the way that I want and I know what it's gonna look like with that particular filter I'm gonna go ahead and start making the content so I may do it like more than once just because I don't know like what I'm working with. <laughs> then I save it because since I'm creating like multiple frames, I don't want to take too long in between posting um, posting the next one. So I kind of like to Georgia. I kind of like to create all of them first and then I go back and, um, you know, then I go back and like upload them so that they're uploading consecutively so it don't look like I'm just like taking forever to post. You know, you lose people's attention when you work like that. So now I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. There's so many products and they're all like in boxes like they're um they're in this box and they come in their own like individual packaging so it's like do I want to sit here and take all this stuff out it's me wanting to show y'all my new skincare goodies from Coco Kai so they sent over a cleanser um, a toner a moisturizer a sleep mask which is slowly but surely becoming my favorite kind of skincare product like they just work wonders SPF because you know we need it and I got an eye cream and I cannot wait to try all of this stuff so now I have all like the story frames and I'll start uploading them and what I'll do is like add like a poll or something you know just to make it like interactive and fun so this is the first frame which is just like a little boomerang of the box you know something cute something really like simple um and i just put a little poll it just says can you guess what we're opening skincare or clothes y'all know that this is skincare but um this will be their first time seeing it so we're just gonna make it interactive like that and then i um I go from there, look at me trying to get back in the camera. I go from there and just um, upload the uh, all the content that comes after that. So I'm going to finish that up and then I'll come back to y'all in just a second. <laughs> So one last thing I want to show y'all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture from my story of all the products outside of the boxes since I didn't take them out. And so I'm just going to set them out and arrange them in a really cute way and take a picture with the same filter. And doing this because like I, I'll have to do like a separate video on um, one day maybe about like getting brands to send you things. but. I know that a lot of brands um, really do like the way I unbox um, stuff and make it like really cute. It just fits my aesthetic and it's just kind of what I enjoy doing. But um, it's, every time they send me stuff and I end up doing something like this for my story, they always repost it and then they like offer to send me more stuff. And then, you know, it 
you know it then creates a really really dope relationship so one day I'll get more into that but I just want to show you guys how I kind of lay all this out so actually ended up doing a boomerang I didn't screen record so I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like so I was just moving these two products you know for the boomerang and I just put like a thank you tag the brand down there and then yeah I moved it around just a little bit but that's good that's really cute y'all so how about I posted the story right and this girl responded and was just like you stay unboxing stuff and then you don't ever like let us know how it is. And I was just like, dang, you just gonna call me out like that. But she's right. So um, I'm gonna do better um, on Instagram about talking about the products that I use, especially when I'm unboxing stuff. And you know, just following up with more content about the stuff that I'm introducing to you guys via story, because that does make sense, you know. So that's just me. But um, I had to respond to sis and let her know, like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to work on it. I got it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, y'all, now I'm going to eat. It's like 8.13. I have been working like all day. I had to do like work work, like job work. And then, of course, I was just telling y'all that I did film a video and then I did this on Boxing for Instagram. So I feel like I've done enough for now. I'm going to eat dinner and then um, I'm actually eating leftovers from yesterday um for dinner and then i am probably gonna like you know get ready for bed and do a little bit of more work but i'm gonna try to go to bed tonight by 10 o'clock it's already 8 14 so we'll see um but yeah oh and i uploaded a vlog today so i have a new weekend vlog i'll put it up here check it out if you've missed it if you haven't watched it yet but yeah i'm gonna check in with y'all tomorrow um yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow bye Hey y'all, so today is Tuesday. I feel like I'm definitely like running behind on my day, but it's fine. Um, I kind of slept in a little bit because I stayed up late last night. Um, watching YouTube for some reason. And then I had a glass of wine and it made me sleepy and I was like fighting to sleep the whole time. But anyway, so I wanted to show y'all how I kind of preserve my silk press whenever I have it. Um, so what I do, George is squeaking of course. I use these like satin scrunchies and I got these from um, MYK Silk. Okay, so these are silk scrunchies, not satin. Um, and I just twist up my hair in a little bun and put the scrunchie on it. It's really soft. And then I just go through it. So this is what like kind of holds the wave or the curl or whatever. Um, I was telling my hairstylist about this and she was acting like she had never heard of this method before. And I was just like, girl, like, it makes so much sense because I want to keep some type of body in my hair, like, you know, curl or whatever, but I don't want to have to continue to add heat. Also, I don't really know how to use a curling iron. When it comes to me and, like, hair tools, I am like, mm-mm, it's not my cup of tea. But see, it just, like, leaves this nice little, like, wave in my hair, and then I kind of just, like, comb through it. I've been wearing a side part even though I prefer my hair um parted in the middle I think what happened was when I got my layers cut in my hair um she cut it with a side part so that's just like the way it looks it's best right now I can already tell that my hair is getting kind of greasy which I don't like because I haven't even been able to like take any pictures yet or anything and the thing is I got a silk press Friday. It's been raining here in Atlanta, like literally every day. Every single day since Friday, y'all. Every day. So I've been in the house, but if I've gone out, I've just had my hair like wrapped because you know, if it gets wet, it's gonna, hey, stop. If it gets wet, it's gonna just like revert back to natural and I'm not quite ready for that yet. So just. 
push this part down. I feel like my head is big. <laughs> anyway, apparently I have a call. Apparently I have a call um, at one that I was completely unaware of. Like it just popped up on my calendar and I was just like, what? Like I wasn't um, <laughs> planning to have a call at one today, but it is Tuesday and Tuesday is literally like my biggest, um, not biggest, my most busiest day for like client work and stuff like that. One of my clients in particular just really takes up um, all of my Tuesday and this call is for them and then I have a call have two calls for them afterwards so that's what I'm about to be doing for the rest of the afternoon and then hopefully I'm off in time to go to the post office because I really wanted to go earlier Georgia I have these jeans I ordered I already packed them back up so I'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen from Samaria Leah if y'all are familiar with Samaria Leah that's LL Cool J's daughter she has like her own um, apparel line now but I ordered some jeans from her and they are way too, way too large. Um, so I um, asked if I can exchange them for like a smaller size. But now I kind of want like a different pair of jeans altogether. So hopefully she responds and she agrees. I'm so distracted. But yeah, I need to send those back. I need to send back those sunglasses. Georgia, get them under here, mama. You're knocking stuff over. But yeah, since I have this call at 1, it's 12.50, so I'm about to um, prepare to log on to that, and I'll check in with y'all later. I think that it is the quote, but I think it has something to do with the look of it, too. Alright, y'all, so I'm finally done with my calls for the day it is 407 so I'm about to look up this recipe really quick for um orange chicken because that's what I want to eat tonight I don't know why I'm craving it but I'm gonna make it I um found this really good recipe on YouTube from this lady I think her name is Asian at home um it's really easy to follow so if you like orange chicken I'll put it in the description box so you guys can follow it too um but yeah that's what i'm about to do now and then probably just return to do some more work now i can't find the recipe now for y'all who be cooking because i'm i'll be very honest i'm like new to cooking for myself kind of because i live at home it was weird for so long sorry about that I've lived at home for so long so I've never really like had to cook like I've had the opportunity to but I ain't gonna lie I I just ain't do it but now that I have my own kitchen it's like all right you need to be cooking so um YouTube is very helpful oh I found the recipe YouTube is very helpful Pinterest is very helpful for like recipes sometimes I call my mama um, or my grandma for stuff but not so much I tend I just look on YouTube or on um Pinterest to find like something to eat. Okay, so my orange chicken and jasmine rice is all done. Again, the um, the video that I watched for this recipe will be in the description box. And then I'm drinking this with some Takara plum wine, which is one of my favorite wines to have with any type of rice or Asian dish. I don't know if y'all have heard of this wine before, but it's so sweet. It's really good. Like, please try it, okay? But I'm about to eat and watch some YouTube. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wrap up for the day or not. As far as vlogging goes, but y'all, I don't know. Because this, this be having me sleepy. So, if I don't talk to y'all a little bit later today, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. 
Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. I'm sorry it's so dark in here, but um, I'm in here like trying to figure some stuff out with my studio lighting. Um, I've already been up working. It's like 1245. I have a couple errands to run and Georgia has to go to the vet. She's doing a follow up because y'all know um, her cone is off now, but we got a little issue. I don't want to, I don't want to say what the issue is yet because I don't want to like speak it if that's not what's so but I think something went wrong and I'm not pleased whatsoever um we'll talk about that but anyway she's getting like a shot today also because it's time for her vaccines to be updated and then she's just getting like a checkup follow-up from being spayed um I'm also gonna go to T-Mobile today because I've been talking to my mama about possibly getting a new phone so I think I'm gonna upgrade to the um 12 pro I have the 11 Pro now, and I like my phone, um, but the plus side to all this is that I do, it's my story, <laughs> but I do want like a better camera, um, I like to try to keep my phone updated if I can, because why not, I use it so much for work, um, and just for other little things, so, you know, but I also have to, what else I got to do today? Maybe that's it. I don't know. I feel like there's something else I have to do outside of the house. Otherwise, I'm really going to try my best to create um, like a try on haul. I want to do this Zara denim, these shorts and these jeans. <laughs> I want to do a try on haul. I've like tried to film try on hauls a few different times for YouTube, but I don't ever like them. But um, that's why I'm here messing with my lights because I know it'll probably be later today when I get a chance to do it and I want to be able to make the lighting look as good as possible so we'll see but yeah y'all oh I know what it is I had to go take those freaking sunglasses and ship them off so I tried to do it yesterday but when I looked at the label it was like exclusively for FedEx and I was at the UPS store and I didn't have time to go over to FedEx so that's actually but what I'm about to get up and do now before I have to head to George's vet appointment so I'm gonna just take her with me but yeah y'all I'll check in with y'all in a little while Wednesdays, middle of the week, you know, hump day, whatever you want to call it. Mm. <laughs> So it's been a minute since I was on the camera, but um, let me tell you really quick what um, I was talking about earlier when I was saying that I thought something wrong had gone, had gone, when I thought something had gone wrong with Georgia's um, spay procedure. So I noticed um, earlier this week, like a couple days ago, that she was like missing a nipple. And you guys know dogs have multiple nipples. So Georgia typically has 10 but the other day I realized she only had nine and I noticed that there was like a large gap between two of them. So I was like, this is, this is weird. Um, I can't remember how I even like peeped it. I think I was just like, you know, kind of petting her or something. And I was like, so I text my mama and I was like, I just realized Georgia only has nine nipples and I remember her having 10, but, um, so yeah, I called the vet and let them know that you know I think something had gone wrong because I assumed they either sniffed it off or they tucked it into her incision um because it's literally like y'all I'm not gonna put a picture or show y'all because it's like kind of um it's not gruesome the picture I have is from the day of her surgery so there's like a little bit of swelling and like blood I'm not gonna show y'all that just know that my little fur baby was missing a whole nipple so when I asked them about it, they were like oh that's not normal you know bring her in so that's what I did today today the doctor told me that when they close the incision back up sometimes they have to take the skin where the nipple is and what the body does is excuse me um, what it what the body does apparently is that it'll it'll heal itself and then the nipple will reappear or something like she was like, with some dogs, she has to snip it out. But she was like, Georgia's hasn't surfaced enough. 
in order to do that. And I do, if I touch the incision a little bit, because I don't want to mess with it too much, I do kind of feel where I think her nipple is. Anyway, I'm going to give this about three to four more weeks to like, you know, show itself. But if that's not the case, I'm going to be real upset. And um, yeah, I might even pursue some sort of lawsuit. Like I'm not being extra. I'm being dead serious because she, that's what she said to me. That's what she told me is normal. I'm going I'm to listen to the doctor. I'm not going to be extra right now. But in the next few weeks, if I don't see a difference, you know, I'm going to pursue something a little bit further because obviously that means you did something wrong you know how do you take her nipple and put it into the incision and then sew it so it's like her nipple is inside out anyway off that also went to the nail salon I got my nails and toes done so winter is gonna see this and be like Janae we've been asking you for a nail vlog but listen I didn't go to my normal salon because I took forever and didn't make an appointment and I really needed my nails done um so I just went to the place up the street for me but I promise winter, I got you. Next time I go to my usual salon where like the fun stuff happens with my nails, I'll definitely make a whole vlog dedicated to just nails. But I didn't even take y'all in there with me just because like I low-key went at the last the last minute because they, they were about to close in like an hour or so. Um, and then I didn't want to go in there and a camera and like film and there's like a slight language barrier. So I just wanted everybody to be comfortable. Um yeah so uh that's that um it's about 8 43 probably about to get ready to kind of like wind down take a shower put my pajamas on and um i need to edit i was gonna try to film a try on haul like i was telling y'all with these jeans and shorts and stuff but i think i'm actually just gonna try to work on that tomorrow um but yeah these are my nails um really simple y'all y'all should know by now i'm really really plain um yeah <laughs> i get the same thing over and over again this is the same color on my toes too but yeah i'm just gonna edit tonight i have three videos um i need to actually start editing this one because this is a weekly vlog so it's gonna be kind of long um long for me so i need to start editing it as soon as possible so that I make sure that this gets up. But there's a vlog, not a vlog, but a video I want to go up tomorrow. So I need to make sure I um, finish editing that tonight so that it can go up tomorrow. So I'm going to call it a night. I will see y'all beauties tomorrow. Hope y'all have a good night or whatever. Whenever y'all watching this, make it a great day, a great time. <laughs> good night. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So, what have I done today? I did a little bit of work, run a couple errands, and now I'm home. I'm about to eat. And then after I eat, I'm gonna do my best to make today a content day. I keep talking about this stuff over here, these jeans and these shorts from Zara. So I'm gonna try to do um, a try on haul with that stuff. And then I wanna also film something else. Um, yeah, I just wanna try to like maximize my time today because I need to so I'm gonna just say hey to y'all real quick but I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, start working and then I'll come back a little bit later because I'm gonna edit um, some more videos later this evening so we'll probably like chit chat then okay y'all so I'm done editing It's um, uploading now it has like an hour and 14 minutes left I'm kind of nervous because this is like I've never done a type of video before well I have but you know this is like a get ready with me kind of a chit chat I've been thinking about doing like a Q&A where I'll like put a poll up on my Instagram story and let people ask me questions but I still feel like it's a little too soon for that like I love y'all and everything but I feel like I need to grow my following a little bit more so this is kind of like a little intro to that but yeah so doing that and I'm about to go get some food I'm hungry I want some pizza um, I ate my leftover orange chicken today for lunch, but, and I have a little bit more of that, but like, I don't want that no more. Like I done ate it, uh, three times now. So it's time to move on. So I'm gonna go get some pizza and then I'm gonna come back home. I am still gonna, um, film the trial haul tonight because why not? Might as well. 
and probably edit a little bit more if I'm up for it. But I feel really good and productive. This is kind of like the first time I felt super productive in a while. So I'm just trying to like stick with this vibe and keep it going. But I'm going to head to Blaze real quick and get my pizza. So. So I was trying to like film inside of the restaurant, but this girl kept staring at me. It was awkward, y'all. What do you do when you're like vlogging in public and people are like looking at you? Like it's still kind of awkward to me. Like part of me, uh oh my phone. Part of me don't care, but like she was staring so hard to the point where it kind of made me feel like, am I being extra? I don't know, but I'm hungry. I'm so excited that I have this pizza. I'm finna go home and eat. <laughs> okay, I'm back home and I'm starving, but I want to show y'all my pizza because it be looking so nasty to others, but it's so good. Like, I really want to stop eating meat one day, but um, I have a weakness for a pizza with like pepperoni and banana peppers and Italian sausage. Like, oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm finna eat my pizza and watch Chelsea Janae's new vlog. Um, close out the night with y'all because I got some more work to do and I'll see y'all tomorrow <laughs> hey y'all happy Friday so it is about 3 30 um I've been working all day I just um got off of a call last call before the weekend starts um I just uploaded a video today my first um chit chat get ready with me so take a look at it it'll be up here let me know what y'all think um yeah and then for the rest of the day i do have a little bit of content i need to make i was editing a video um putting my chair together and realized that i accidentally deleted like um maybe like three clips so i'm just gonna redo them today so that i can insert it into the video but it's pretty much done editing i just gotta add that stuff and then i'll try to get that up really soon but um yeah i'm just excited for the weekend my best friend whitney is coming to town to hang out this weekend so we got some plans we're gonna go um to the chanel beauty store we're gonna go to zara we're gonna have dinner at the garden room if the weather permits we're gonna try to do like a hike at stone mountain so i'm looking forward to you know her being here this weekend we used to hang out all the time back in the day y'all but as we got older and started working, that slowly became just like a texting thing. Like, we would hang out. We still hung out. But, like, Whitney and I used to be, like, attached, like, physically. Now, it's more so. We, we talk every day, though. I talk to my girl every day. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hanging out with her this weekend. So, yeah, because I'm going to get dressed, get some content. I'm excited. So, I'm looking forward to that. But, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come say hey. Um, I'm going to do a quick store run to Target because my hair is getting greasy. So I um, use like this Pantene dry shampoo. I know a lot of black girls be like dry shampoo, but y'all, it actually works. Especially if you wear like sew-ins, um, anything where you have like your real hair out, a leave out if you have a sew-in. Um, but I use it up here in the roots because my hair does get greasy when I have like a silk press. I don't put it on my hair, but I do use it in the roots and it does work. But what I'm mad about is I have used this probably twice, but the not the top is broken. This little thing. So I can't even like spray it no more. Like, which freaking sucks. Because again, I only got like two uses out of that. So I'm just going to go buy a new bottle because I actually do need it. So I'm going to do a quick target run and then come back home and film those clips. So yeah, I posted a reel today. <laughs> this one and I'm gonna start like making more of these because it's so cute to me and it's performing pretty well on my page so far but I've been talking about wanting to be more active on um excuse me on Instagram and just like you know getting my feed back to where it was once upon a time and just like increasing my engagement on there because I feel like it'll pair well with my YouTube and so that was like a tester reel and it's doing pretty well, so I'm going to make sure I keep making those. But um, I'm actually going to go to Target now to get the dry shampoo. And I'm going to stop and get a smoothie and come back home. Because I, 
I don't know, like I've been drinking like water and I had a glass of lemonade yesterday, but for some reason I just want something else to drink like other than water. So I'm gonna grab a smoothie and then come back home. And then um, since Whitney, my best friend is coming into town, I want to like try to put my outfits together in advance so that I don't have to like waste any time getting dressed. <laughs> Um, I want to know what I'm going to wear for everything that we're doing this weekend. So we're going to put my outfits together. So I'm going to do that with y'all when I get back home. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run to Target now and I will see y'all in a few. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back. So change of plans. Um, I was actually just invited out. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I need to figure out what I'm going to wear because, uh, we're supposed to be meeting in about an hour and a half or so. Um, but oh so I went to Target I didn't get the same dry shampoo because I didn't want the nozzle to break again or the, the little spray pump like I didn't want it to happen again so I got this Batiste I never heard of this brand but um or I have heard of this brand I've never tried this brand is what I mean but I didn't want to get that again because I didn't want it to break again and then I want I'm not 100% sure about this so I got a trial size so I'll let y'all know the verdict on this, but I'll just use it for the rest of my time with a silk press. It's doing well, except this portion up here, as y'all can see. Like, it has gotten, like, oily up here at the top. I've also, like, hit it with water a couple times, like, washing my face or taking a shower. Um, so, yeah, but other than that, the rest of it is doing, like, pretty well. But, hey, if y'all get silk presses or if you still um, wear your leave out with, like, sew-ins or any style that... Um, has your real hair whether it's natural or relaxed it gets oily when um you know when it's time for it to be like washed or restyled or whatever the case but i'm gonna go ahead and figure out what i'm gonna wear tonight and then um i'll come back to the camera at once i'm ready because i don't have that much time where's my phone y'all my room is a hot mess <laughs> But I'm ready to go. So I just put on this like white top that I'm kind of not feeling. But it's too late to take it back to Zara. So I'm just wear it. Because um, you can kind of see my adhesive bra through it. But it's going to be dark. So it's okay. And then I put on these jeans. And these heels from Boohoo. So I'm going to carry this tiny little black purse. Keeping it really, really cute and simple tonight because we're just going to a lounge but I put my hair like half up half down so yeah this is the look y'all can see in the mirror just I need to clean up but yeah I'm about to go ahead and head out because Nia um oh this light is already on her way or she told me she left already so I'm about to do the same so um yeah rest of the footage I will grab off my phone. <laughs> 